1000 with one of the most famous racers ever. Her name is her name is Jonna. So how do you like the Baja 1000? Oh my god, this is like twice as much fun as I thought it would be. <laughs> the last year we missed it. I, I don't, well, it was COVID and it was kind of weird. Because I, I mean, what happened last year? It was like cut in half and it was going in. Yeah, it was only half the run. Yeah. So, but so we, we knew it was coming. We extended our stay in Baja for like 10 days and we're catching the end of it. We should have been here at 2 in the morning. Note to self. <laughs> Uh, it looks like maybe someone's coming. There's a big dust cloud up ahead, but yeah, this is pretty cool. We got to meet some of the racers. I, I talked to two of the racers, and here comes one of the uh, trucks right now. So let's check that out. I'm gonna the camera around, and here they come. Woohoo! Oh, uh, this guy must not be very good. He still has a hood. <laughs> he still has a hood. Jonna, you might want to back up a little. <laughs> and that's it, how it is. All that's time how long. this shit works. <laughs> it's so exciting. I didn't know it would be this much fun. It's Limping through. I think he's missing a few. Oh, yeah, he's missing the whole front clip, rear fender, everything. It's all gone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he must have like endo, yeah. huh? And here comes another car. This guy must also not be too great because he still has his lights left. <laughs> Holy shit, missing his fenders. over on the side for a little while there. <laughs> okay. I don't know who the racer is, but he's giving some time to his kids, so that's cool. All right, I'm here at the Baja 1000 with Rene and Fierro. These guys were racers on a team for the Salty Baja team, and they drove the Forerunner. What, what was it like? Tell me what the experience was like. I know you got hurt. Did, were you the finisher? No, the finisher is. Uh, it's about Davis. to arrive. It's about to arrive. Okay. We have uh, four racers. Well, five racers. It was uh, uh, Fierro, Tapia, Stephen Davis, uh, Diego Medina, and Luis Quinijara. Awesome. It was all the team from. Out of the Baja. Awesome. And is there a certain regulation of the guy who is signed up to race is the one who has to finish? Is there a rule yeah. on that? Yeah, normally they're starting and they finish. Okay, so the guy who starts it has to finish. Yeah. And then you have four different alternates that go in between that take care of all, you know, share the ride. But still, it's, what is it, 1,300 miles? Yeah. Almost, almost, yeah. And how many hours does it take to finish the race? Well, I'm talking about 30 hours, right? Yeah. 30, so 30 hours between four guys, that's still a lot. And, you, you know, you're, what percentage of the travel is actually on dirt and what percentage is on pavement? Uh, I think about 5%, 5% of the pavimento of the total carrera. Yeah, yeah. Like that. So, Some parts about 30 miles, but 
it, it depends. Yeah. And those are all under a speed limit anyway, so yeah, it's not like you're you're not really racing until you hit the dirt. So, right. and if anybody violates the speed zone, then they get an infraction for and infraction. probably lose time or yeah, whatever. That's, right. that's, what but uh, that's that that's pretty incredible. <laughs> I, I can't even imagine. Oh my God! Here comes one of the. Uh, here comes another one of the trucks now. So we are at the famous six right here. This is where everybody gathers. <laughs> what is it? I know it's like super expensive for the big truck that just went by. Is it? Does it cost a lot less for a, a quad team to do this race? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot less, but it's still a big amount. Yeah. Yeah, you have to prepare the bag months before and... Do you guys do the pre-running just like the the other cars that come down? You guys come and do the pre-run. I know we were in, we were in San Ignacio and the Honda team came through and like one of the guys was racing the car around. He was drunk and he was hitting all the car. He hit five cars in San Ignacio and like I don't know he paid people off or whatever. But that's not a good look. <laughs> you guys don't do that, thank God. I mean, I'd rather have my car hit with a forerunner than a, one, one of those big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, at least they at least they paid for it. But still. <laughs> People already. Oh yeah, for sure. But so you guys expect to be maybe second or third on this race? Right now we are fourth. Right now you're. But once all the restrictions and are checked. Let's see if we can get some third, maybe, I Awesome. How long have you prepared in advance to do this? Well, I think almost, uh, almost the entire year we prepared the bike, prepared the physical, exercise all the time. And the bike is with, with uh, 0%, it started with 100%. Every ball, every aim, every sticker, all that <laughs> The yeah, make sure all the sponsors are taken care of and all that good stuff, yeah. right? It's yeah. really hard for us, but yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys, and I wish you good luck. I hope you get first. Thank but. You. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.